Starting off the video, checking my mahogany trees, trying to get some Hesporia seeds. On the first one, I do get one. On the second one, I also get one. And is the third one going to also give me one? That would be great. Unfortunately not. But 74 farming. So for the Hardcomer Diaries, I have to get 10 Hespori kill counts. So getting these two was really good. I think I have one in the bank. And that means with 6kc, I only need to get one more Hespori seed to be able to complete all of the kills. And can we get another bottomless bucket on this one? It would be kind of funny. Nope. But uh, at the seed, I guess it's pretty good. Kind of at the end of my Abyssal Demon task, and I actually get back-to-back -back superiors, and this is actually a very important superior. This is going to give me, regardless of anything, oh, a surprise exam as well, the last totem piece I need to get 10 Scotiso KC. So even if I get nothing good, that is going to be the last totem piece I need. And let's see, what is it going to be for the last superior that I need? And it is just the Dark Totem top, and I don't know if I will be able to make this, but uh, hopefully the exam should be fine as well. Can we get it? Yes, nice. What is this? I just got two superiors up on the same game take. Look at that. And maybe this is going to be the time we get an imbued heart. Let's see if we can get lucky. Let's see if we can actually kill them on the same take as well. That's a big hit. Oh, so close. 4.2k experience, a totem base. And another totem piece. So no imbued heart or eternal gem, unfortunately. But uh, that was like 8,000 experience right away with Slayer. One more Abyssal Demon. And I am going to get 86 Slayer, which is not the last level I need. But uh, one more and I am done with the Slayer grind. So 374,000 Slayer experience left. It is going to be quite a while. Probably like uh, 15 hours of Slayer. Depends how many burst tasks I get. But we are getting closer to done with all the Slayer requirements for the Hard Diaries. Bit of a random story, but I just thought of this meanwhile killing Shamans. Back in actual 2007, I remember having like 30 million cash. And I had sat on that amount of cash for the longest time because I was kind of scared of wasting any money. But I ended up buying a Bandos chestplate for basically all that money. And the first thing I did was I went to God Wars Dungeon and I tried to kill Bandos. And I instantly died. I went into the room with like three other people, obviously crashed them, but I didn't understand. I was a kid. And I just got two banged by the boss. And that was probably the best day those guys ever had. Because uh, the mechanic of death back in the days was that if you died after like one minute or something, everything that you lost was on the ground for everyone to pick up. So I basically had 30 million cash for like a year on my account, or maybe a bit less than that. And I was so scared of spending it, I finally spent it, and I lost everything within the same day, so... If you've ever had something like that happen, let me know in the comments. Or, like, what is the first big spend that you ever did in Old School RuneScape? Oh, the more Chaos Fanatic I can do, the better. I'm going to do 39. We still need those Odium Shields, so let's hopefully get one. Oh my god, I got the freeze right away. This is it. Oh, big hit! d -claws? He's just dead, there's no way. Oh my god, oh, I love having d class in LMS, especially when it's early on. I got this like literally in the beginning. The reason why you saw that last man standing clip is because I wanted to get the blighted super stores. I don't want to waste normal prey pots in the wilderness. And that is the last kill. We did not get a Odium shard and my overall kill count now is 376 and the collection log is looking like this. So if I do get that Odium shard, I have actually completed the log, but uh, we still need three of them. Duradel was very kind to me and he gave me a Calfight task and uh, normally I would do this on the small ones with a cannon for really good Slayer experience but I remembered I actually need 50 kill counts on this boss, the Calfight Queen, to get the Hard Combat Diaries done and this is actually quite a long grind, it's a very annoying boss to do and I haven't really done much of it so I'm not good at it at all, I will have to learn how to do it efficiently but I might as well do it on a Slayer task if I'm going to do 50 kill counts anyways. So that is why I decided to do this boss. Now, there's also another achievement that I have to do, which is going to be very easy to do. Uh, it is just reduce the defense of the Calphite Queen and then kill it. And of course, we have a Bandos God Sword. So all I have to do is land one spec, get the kill, and I should be done with the achievement. Also, I am going to bring Thralls, so I'm on the Ar Arceus Spellbook. And uh, I'm probably going to stay under the boss quite a lot because uh, the boss hits very, very hard. I've actually been here one time before to get just one kill to try it out. But uh, this is the second kill, aka the first kill of this trip. I think the best drops we can get is like one of Samurai. And 
<laughs> As I say that, we get Wines of Samurai, because we need it for ranging potions, and they're kind of annoying to get, so... Yeah, that's very nice. Let's see if we can land a BGS spec and get the achievement. That's a miss. One more chance. Can we get it? Please. Piety on, and... Oh, we got it. Okay, so, uh, if I do get the kill now, I'm going to get the achievement. Alright, there it is. 500 experience in Slayer, and that should be the achievement. Yes, it is. A very good drop as well, but that is the Chitin Penetrator. Wow, that's 300k. Snapdragons are worth quite a lot now. Uh, another one down. What can we get? Magic Seed. Oh my god, these drops are so good. A Calfight Queen, kind of low-key, a good moneymaker, maybe. Now, I am kind of considering maybe bringing only melee because you can kind of flinch it in this phase as well. I've kind of learned how to do it now and I can actually just let my thralls do a lot of the damage as well. Meanwhile, standing under here, I guess uh, I might try a couple of different things just to see what's best. I'm probably going to end up doing it this way without the ranged setup and just let my thralls do a lot of the damage in the second phase. It is protecting melee, but that doesn't mean you can't still hit it with melee. It's just reduced damage and harder to hit. So, it's going to take longer to do it this way, but I don't have to use barely any supplies, and I can do more kills per trip, which actually saves quite a lot of time. So it's probably the same amount of time to get the 50kc if I would flinch, because I don't have to bank as often, and uh, it will save supplies, so I think it's the best thing to do. That's a 5 kill trip, look at my inventory, that's really good, and the reason why I have to leave is not the food, it's just the prayer potion, so if I bring more, I could probably do more than 5 kills a trip, so flinching is definitely better. I'm going to start using the old graphics again, if you wanna know why, check the description, I don't wanna spend time in the video explaining. Here we go, this is actually going to be the last kill, and thralls with flinching made this a lot easier than I anticipated this grind to be. I was really dreading this, I thought this would be a massive pain, but I could do like 8 kill trips now and then with the flinching method, so yeah, really not that bad. And here we go, this should be the achievement, Caliphate Queen Adept, and let's have a look at the loot. As I mentioned earlier, I did do 1 kill before, but 49 kills here on the tracker, and look at this, 360 wines of Samrak. That's really good, because we were actually lacking those, and the herbs as well are really good. The potato cactus is also super nice, I think that's for making magic potions, and magic seeds as well, so overall very good loot. Well, I'm really good at keeping track of my Slayer experience, and I'm really close to 87, but uh, I always miss my range levels. That is 96 ranged, only 3 more levels to go. I am so lucky at Drake's, that is another Drake's claw, I think my overall kill count on Drake's is like 190 now, and I think it's 1 in 500 roughly, so that is brimstone boots for another teammate. Finally it is time, all the slayer grinding has paid off, and it's going to be the last one slayer experience for 87 slayer in the chat right there. And I'm going to finish the task, and then we're going to try to get a Kraken task. I only have like 120 Slayer points, so getting one might be a bit hard, but hopefully I'm lucky. Okay, I guess I'm just the luckiest person in the world. 116 Cave Kraken, that's all I need to be able to complete all the tasks, and I have 0 points left. So that was literally the last chance I had, so let's go and do it. So there are three achievements I have to complete on this boss, all of them being actually very easy. The first one being kill Kraken 25 times in a privately rented instance without leaving the room. That is surprisingly easy because the boss does basically no damage to you. The second one is kill the Kraken after killing all four tentacles. Also surprisingly easy, just kill the tentacles and then the boss, they do not have that much HP. And the last one is just a normal kill count, kill the Kraken 100 times. And that's the first achievement done, unnecessary optimization, which is kill all the tentacles before you kill the boss, easy enough. Killing the Kraken boss was made so much easier with the fishing explosives, you can buy this from any Slayer Master, just use them on the Whirlpool, and you do not have to tag any of the tentacles on the side anymore, and you don't actually have to click on the boss, you just automatically attack as well, look at that. This is the reason why Kraken is actually one of the most relaxing bosses in the game, which is actually pretty profitable as well. I have done 25 kill count now, and that is the hard combat achievement done, and I have so much food left, and actually most of the food I ate was to get space in my inventory. Look at that! Trident of the Seas full on 78kc, so we're getting pretty close to done with all the tasks, but that is a nice drop to see. Yep, uh, how many kills later was that? That was like 9 kills or something? 78, 75, so 7 kills later, and for another one. 
Well, unfortunately, I missed it without a sea kraken adept. I've done over 100 kills now, and that is all the hard combat diaries done for the kraken. Now, just to show you guys how close I am to done with the hard combat diary, there is still some that will take some time to complete, but I only need. 10 more. I'm 48 out of 58 and I think the one that's going to honestly take the longest time is this one. Criara 50 kills and maybe the uh, Callisto one. This one. 50 kill count on the Callisto but uh, they're not that bad and they are basically the hardest ones left. Time to complete the 10 King Black Dragon kills in a privately rented instance. I'm bringing so many Sarah Brews and Restores. I should be able to do it with ranged. I'm just going to stay in melee distance and melee prey. This is the one who is the king now, so let's go and do it. I actually took quite a lot of food. I have three Sarah Domin Brews left, but uh, that's kill number 10. Used Thralls as well to make it a bit easier, but that is the who is the king now completed. Another very easy one, 50 kill count on the crazy archaeologist, and I already had 46, so literally only had to do 4 kills, and that is now kill number 50 for some sharks, crazy archaeologist adept completed. I could not really be bothered doing the hard clue scrolls, but uh, used two totems to get the Scotizo veteran hard combat task completed, and the last loot is going to be runeplate legs, ancient shards, 3 of them as well, that's not bad. But after all of this, I think it's time for me to complete the wilderness overall for the hard combat achievement. So I am going to get 50 Callisto kill counts and I think this is the setup I'm going to use. I think Crystal Armor with the Bow Ferradina has proven to be pretty good at all the wilderness bosses. And uh, hopefully we can get the 50 kill count without getting PK too many times. Well, I think Callisto might be an exception. I have been hitting it now and then on the boss, but uh, the accuracy from the Crystal Armor on the Bow Ferdinand is not really enough here, it seems. I think maybe Ruby and Diamond Bolts might be better, so I'm going to try that on the next run. Actually, never mind. I forgot we have full Varax, and I should be protecting everything with the item protect, so it's all good. And this is in singles as well, and I do believe this is the fastest method of killing Callisto, so this is how I'm going to do it. I did start bringing Thralls as well, and I just want to show you guys I'm on 19 KC now, so it's going pretty good, but I've been so lucky with seed drops, I've got a lot of Snapdragons and Raynor seeds, overall 16, and all of these we will use of course for super stores and prey potions for future group PVMing. Very happy to finally be done with Callisto, this is kill number 50, and this is all the wilderness tasks done, all the bosses completed, 50 kill counts on all of them in uh, the hard combat diaries. And that was quite a grind, that took a long time, and also it is a bit later during the day now, so more people started logging in. In the beginning, I think the first 30kc I did not get attacked a single time, but the last 20kc I think I got attacked about 5 times, but I never died. So that was a good thing, but uh, yeah, finally done with all the wilderness bosses for the hard combat diaries. And here is the loot that I got from Callisto, 47 kill count as I started with 3, and of course I got a lot of Raynor and Snapdragon seeds which is really useful for the team. Mahogany logs is also not bad for future construction so overall very happy with the loot. Now for the next video we are going to complete the hard comma diaries. We're going to do one nightmare kill count. We have to do 50 Criara kill count up here which uh, might actually give us some armadol pieces would be pretty cool and these Grador tasks that I have done are very easy. I can do them both in basically one kill. So yeah, we're getting really, really close. Let's see on the list here, 52 out of 58. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for future uploads. And until next time, guys, take care.